Let's head to the crypto market now where uh, the reality of our time spread <laughs> to there. And uh, I think Bitcoin hit, hit the, the market. Yeah, well, <laughs> fortunate or unfortunate <laughs> is our reality for now. Bitcoin hit that very, I don't want to say it's rock bottom now, because some people are saying my yeah, really, know really low. We don't know where the bottom low. is at this point. And <laughs> the, 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 it was a rough weekend. You know, we saw Bitcoin go below that 20,000. Quite bloody, you know. That 20K support was... You know, so exalted, you know, you didn't expect it to break below that uh, mark, but we saw that happen over the weekend. And uh, But the extreme fear we saw last weekend was about seven points, but we're having a little improvement this morning. It's at nine uh, points over 100. We're seeing a little bounce in the market with some of these uh, altcoins and Bitcoin. Uh, market cap is up about 7.51%, $879.10 billion, uh, for the total crypto market plus Bitcoin. Volume traded, $78.71 uh, billion, uh, and that's down about 16%. Bitcoin dominance inching down at 43.43%. And we see Bitcoin did recover uh, a quick bounce there to $20,092, up 9.78%. So it's looking green, but uh, it's a battered market we're, we're looking at right now, even though we're seeing a couple of bounces. Some analysts are saying this might just be a dead cat bounce, but who knows? We'll keep watching that. Let's bring in Olumide Additional now, financial market analyst. Hello, Olumide. Hello, yeah, Olumide. Can you hear me? Morning. Morning, Olumide. Yeah, quite, quite, morning. A, quite a rough uh, weekend uh, most investors in the crypto market uh, had, Olumide. And just looking away from price action, you know, at this time, is the tech still intact? The tech behind Bitcoin and all these cryptocurrencies, are there any structural challenges we're seeing with all of this price uh, volatility? Uh, very good question. Uh, but you need to understand that the problem we have in the crypto market right now is liquidity. It's not that uh, the blockchain technology has not disrupted uh, the industries across market spectrum, but you need to also look at the factor that uh, high, in uh, high inflation worries and the fears of recession has really dampened investors' morale. And that's why we saw Bitcoin hitting uh, the $17,000 level on Saturday. And you know that really spoiled market sellers across spectrum. So uh, rather than just looking at price actions, we're seeing that um, businesses across entities are still building on. Take a look at um, Meta. That's the subsidiary of um, Instagram and WhatsApp. They have an affiliation with Ionic brands, you know, uh, luxury brands into how to bring these things to the metaverse. Also, we are seeing payment giants like Visa, MasterCard integrating on NFTs. So it's pretty much um, exciting in the ecosystem, just that uh, price actions are really dampening a lot of retail investors, knowing fully well most of them are having their first bear market, Ladi. Yeah, first uh, bear market. I'm sure it's quite scary for you know some new investors in that market. But uh, we're seeing uh, the route in the uh, global equity space, we're seeing Bitcoin, you know, being rattled and major, major uh, cryptocurrencies. So, Lumidia, I'm wondering, where is the opportunity right now in all of these markets? Yeah, right now, you know, people say cash is king, but the narrative is that the world's richest people don't really keep cash. And you understand why? Because of uh, high inflationary uh, uh, moves on uh, cash assets. So, I think it's all about picking value. So, for investors, I think it's all about positioning. A lot of investors made mistakes because of the way they uh, fix their portfolio, especially on risky assets, putting so much at once. So for investors that learn their lessons, I think uh, gradually approaching the market because uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum are yet to stay actually large. And if you look right. at key, uh, uh, key blockchains across um, spectrum, they're likely going to become very relevant. So investors should really test the water with just their uh, uh, tools rather than all their legs at once. So I think pretty much that's what the market is really about. But upsides really come because we're seeing the market really going to bounce back. But time will tell, you know, this year time doesn't look tell. like it. But yeah. Time will tell. Thank you so much, Olumide. Always great to talk to you. Yeah, thanks, Ali. All right, now, so uh, looking at the top walls of the market cap, we see it's all green. Uh, nice bounces were seen there in the market this morning. BNB there up 8% at $208. And we see eCash also having that bounce up 7.02%. Uh, and uh, looking at the top five gainers there, we're seeing uh, quite a massive bounce there from uh, Syntex there, up 86.61% this morning at $2.87. We see most of these altcoins getting really excited 
with the bounce we're seeing from the $18,000 that uh, Bitcoin actually uh, dropped to. Looking at the top losers, we see more of stable coins showing that traders are running into the market at this point. So uh, in the, it's still extreme fear, but there's a little excitement this morning. <laughs> Don't know how long this excitement is actually going to last. It's a cautious excitement. Cautious excitement, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so like Olumide said, you, you enter the water with your toes and not with your feet. Yeah, don't just dive in there, but, you know. <laughs> Exactly. Thank you so much, Ladi. Thank you.